The whole lure of the heavyweight division is we're powerful, we're big, we're quick, and we're explosive. And I think that's what people really love to watch. Out of my four performance bonuses, knock on the nights that I've had, I would say that there's a couple of different ones that I really put at the top of my list for different reasons. A Superman punch knockout where, you know, I pretty much bent the dude over in midair. And then you have the overeem front kick where I was getting beat up for about three minutes and 30 seconds of that fight and I came back and I kicked him right in the chin. With Barnett, it's the creativity with the elbows. Looking back at my past few fights, I need to combine the athleticism with the skill now to go out there and compete to my full capacity. The exciting thing about Travis Brown is he becomes more motivated with every fight. Whether it's a win or a loss, he comes back hungrier, he comes back with a thirst for knowledge, and he's always looking for that 1% gain every single day. It's getting pretty dangerous. I mean, everything's coming together for Travis Brown. Here we go. Travis is starting to have fun again. He's starting to feel his body. He's starting to feel that his athleticism is back, and he can go fight the way he wants to fight, the way he enjoys fighting. And I think he's looking forward to that, and that's fun for me to see that come back with him. We're going to show him a different level this time now. The way his mindset is at, the way he's able to push himself, I mean, as a coach, you couldn't be any prouder. The sky's the limit with this guy. But right now, Travis is ready to go. He's that ready, and he's that hungry. You know, I've put on a show many times. You haven't seen the best that I have to offer. 